or 23 pounds down. I think the biggest changes for me, qualitative mental changes. Uh, I came into the program in a pretty low spot. I, my previous startup I was running sales for, I got really impacted by COVID and I had to lay off a ton of people and I was super depressed about it. Um, I ended up leaving the organization over it. And uh, so I came in and, and started a new job at the same time. So there were a lot of big changes, but I think mentally kind of got me back on track. Uh, the weight loss, you know, came quick in the beginning. So I felt like it was easier for me in the beginning than it was at the end. Uh, my new company specializes in uh, helping labs test for all kinds of genomic things. And COVID is our biggest thing. So we are working round the clock, setting up labs to test for COVID. And we're also in the round of funding. So I have been uh, very, very busy, but I feel like I've been able to stick to it. And it's been very helpful in keeping me going. Uh, I think the camaraderie of everything has been absolutely phenomenal. I didn't think I would care as much for the team as I do. Uh, especially not caring as much for everybody's results as I would for myself. I really love seeing people achieve it and it motivates me more and more. Um, so I think that team competition thing, mental stuff was really big. Um, I think the biggest thing I've also learned is that's how much sleep has an impact for me. Uh, when I'm not sleeping, the weight's not coming off, but just getting to bed between that 10 to 12, if I don't go to bed before then, like nothing happens. <laughs> Uh, or I even go up. If I am in bed before then, it's a massive difference in how the weight comes off. So uh, I'm really trying to figure out how to balance this stuff out in the, the short term. But I think long term, it'll, it'll be a lot easier to be able to keep going. And I love the workouts. Like uh, another goal for myself, and I've, I've been talking to, so I think you may know I, I'm involved in boxing. I coach boxing at the University of Washington. Um, and uh, the gym has been struggling a lot, but I've been talking to them and going in there and I think we're going to sign up for a fight. Uh, I want to have a fight in the next year. <laughs> I'm 42 years old and uh, you I'm going to figure out like a, a, I'm going to find a little smoker that I'm comes in. up here. <laughs> I'm in. Let's you go, in. baby. Yeah, come, come on out. In Washington. Let's go. <laughs> gutless, gutless tournament right here. Ooh. I love it. Ooh. I love it. I'm in for that. That would be easy. I want to actually fight somebody that can fight back, though. Like, I mean, I saw you punching and you throw marshmallows. <laughs> that was on a fucking 96-hour fast. Dude, you couldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was amazing. Uh, no, I'm in. Uh, I still owe Danny a T-shirt, and I've got to fly to Miami uh, to buy him dinner, which is awesome. Uh, but, you know, all, everything else, I mean, like, it's changed my life. It's, you know, made a huge impact. It's helped my relationship. It's been awesome. So thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Good job.